everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I am at Knott's Berry Farm currently. If you are new here, hello, my name is Allie and my channel is Adventures with Emily and Allie. Today it is just me and I'm gonna take you through Camp Snoopy and we're going to explore all of the updates for the upcoming reimagined Camp Snoopy in 2024. It is opening in summer and I'm super excited and I wanna take you around and show you everything. So let's go. And this will be what the front of Camp Snoopy looks like. Looks like it's getting a sign. That's really cute. When you walk in, over on the right is the Camp Snoopy store. The Camp Snoopy store is actually going to be getting an expansion. And I'm really excited to see how big it actually turns out to be. This store is probably one of the most popular stores inside of Knott's. From what it looks like, they're gonna be redoing the front entrance of the store. They have a black tarp covering it, so I'm excited to see what they do. As you can see over on the left, we have Sierra Sidewinder. This ride will not be closing down. It's here to stay. Another thing to look forward to with Camp Snoopy reimagined opening up is merit badges. Merit badges started in January. They've already given out the first one, but every single month you're going to have a chance to earn a new merit badge. And the way to get these badges is by following their social media pages and checking for the exact date, which is going to be announced just a short couple days before they are released. They are limited quantity, so they're only going to be while supplies last, but look how cute they are. I am obsessed. So this was originally Woodstock's airmail, but have no fear, they are not getting rid of the ride. They are actually moving it to what they're going to be calling the Camp Post Office, which is actually going to be over where Peanuts Headquarters was. Peanuts Headquarters is no longer going to be here. The characters are actually gonna be spread out throughout the park. They will no longer be stationed, so you will be able to bump into them in different places throughout Camp Snoopy. The idea of it is to just randomly bump into your friends like you are at camp. Another ride that won't be closing is the Flying Ace, which is the little airplane ride over here. Throughout Camp Snoopy, you're going to find pictures on the wall of comics. Make sure you check them out. They are so much fun to read and the illustrations are beautiful. So next to Flying Ace, you're going to have the Camp Snoopy Theater. I am super excited for this to open up again. I miss it so much. It is my favorite part of Camp Snoopy. They're not only going to have a daytime showing, but also a nighttime showing. And usually they've always had daytime showings that ended by 5 o'clock. And so I'm really excited to see what kind of nighttime entertainment that they bring in. I'm pretty sure that the nighttime showing is going to be limited to weekends. It could be on weekdays also during holiday hours, but right now the park just closes too early for stuff like that to happen during the week. The stroller parking area will also be expanded to be able to hold more strollers, so that will be nice to be able to take in a larger amount of guests on busy days. So not only is the theater getting bigger and it is getting log seating, but the stage itself is actually changing directions. So the guests were originally facing Flying Ace and the characters were facing the Camp Snoopy store. But now the guests are going to be facing the Camp Snoopy store and the characters are going to be facing Flying Ace and there's gonna be a lot more shading. This is a current photo of what Camp Snoopy Theater is supposed to look like. And here you can see the log bench seating 
And check that out, there's Franklin. Franklin, you guys. Camp Snoopy Theater hasn't had Franklin in as long as I've been coming to the parks, so I'm really excited that he was included in this. And on top of that, there's also a fireplace. How cool. Camp Snoopy is literally going to feel like we are at camp and I am totally here for it. So we currently have the Grand Sierra Railroad, which is getting completely changed. It's actually going to be longer and it's supposed to go over a bridge, which I'm really looking forward to. And it is also having a name change. Currently, Peanut Celebration is still going on, so there is a bunch of random photo opportunities throughout Camp Snoopy, and occasionally you can find a photographer there as well if you would like them to take your picture for you. The balloon race is currently still open. If you don't know what that is, it's basically hot air balloons, and they are a lot of fun. I would currently expect longer waits for the rides because a lot of the rides are still closed down. It makes less rides for the amount of people who are at the park, so it will make the lines a little bit longer. So make sure you plan ahead and think about that when you're planning your trip to Knott's. So this is the Grizzly Creek Lodge. Currently, it is boarded up by walls right now. It's going to be turned into like a quick and go service. You're going to be able to pay, grab your food and go, kind of like a barbecue boardwalk. So I'm really excited to see that change. I can't wait for the train ride to open back up. You can still see the train tracks if you walk through. They do not have this boarded up to where you can't see. So it doesn't look like they've done anything over here yet. But the uh, characters are actually been taken out. The candy cabin is currently still open. However, we were here really early, so the doors hadn't opened yet. Pigpen's Mud Buddies is also still here and it is not going anywhere anytime soon. It was actually closed down not that long ago uh, for quite a while, so it is back and running, which is nice to see. Well, Rapid River Run is currently still open. This ride is very family friendly. Welcome back, Hepburn. We've also saved the Charlie Brown and Snoopy Rock Bowl. If you guys have ever seen that, it is right on the other side over there. I'm glad that they kept it. I am sad that the school bus ride is gone. I don't believe that will be returning. And also on the other side of this wall is the coaster. So the coaster is going to be Snoopy's Tender Paw Twister Coaster. And it's going to have a launch and it's actually going to go around twice. So that's super fun. So the old coaster, it was really hard for adults to fit on the ride. Um, so I believe that the new one will have more room in it. Um, it is supposed to be family friendly so I'm really excited about that because I've always wanted to go on the coaster with my daughter and unfortunately wasn't able to go on it before. So they still have the cave in, which is not open right now because the park did just open. But they have their churros, ice cream, soft pretzels, sodas. We always use our drink plan here. Um, there is a new drink plan this year that they've added ices into it. And we're really excited because we had to get that one because me and my daughter love ices. The Linus Launcher is currently still open. It's Marcy! Hi Marcy! Hey Marcy! <laughs> sure. <laughs> Hi Marcy, are you having a good day? Yeah? <laughs> Perfect. I know, we have the same glasses! We're like twinning! <laughs> 
I'm just um, filming around Camp Snoopy, checking out the updates. It's currently Marcy's meeting day over here. Seems like she has a spot. This is super cute. This breaks my heart because this was the beloved Puff and Puff, which is currently gone. And if you were there on the last day, you did get a badge. Um, it's really sad. When I was a little girl, I rode this ride. My daughter was riding this ride. It was one of her favorites. Um, I'm really sad it's gone. I don't really have a lot of words to say on that. Um, I hope that they bring it back, <laughs> to be honest, one day. Um, from what I've seen comments online, a lot of people were really upset about this, so we'll see what the future Over here we have Woodstock's bird bath. The prizes are Snoopy and also Woodstock's. You basically pay for the prize. There's a $10, $15, and $20 prize, and you automatically win no matter what. Over here was a bathroom and also a nursing area for moms. Have no fear, the nursing area will be returning and I'm pretty sure the bathroom will as well. The pastel portraits and face paint is still currently open. Charlie Brown's kite flyers also will remain open. And actually the whole point of Camp Snoopy Reimagined is that rides will be more family friendly. And on top of that, it's also gonna be like you're just walking straight into camp. We are campers. The refresh station is currently still open. However, we did show up super early, so it was still closed. As you can see here, the Ferris wheel is long gone. This is actually where Sally's sing-along is going to go. If you've ever been to SeaWorld or Legoland, they have a very, very similar ride. Just for reference, this is what Sally's sing-along is going to look like, and you're going to be able to soar 10 feet into the air. Over here, we have Rocky Mountain Trucking Co. This ride's actually getting a whole lot longer and it's getting a name change and you're gonna be able to ride in Jeeps that are decorated with Peanuts characters and you're gonna be able to go over a bunch of different terrains. So I'm really excited about that. I can't wait. If you're curious to know all of the height requirements, I did do a previous video before some of the rides shut down, but it has all of the rides and their height requirements on and I will link it for you. And that is a wrap on today's video. Thank you for following along. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun adventures with Emily and Allie. And I'm going to be making more update videos in the future. So stay tuned. Let me know if there's anything else you would like to see.